Oh, I love a good bridge. Bridges are integral pieces of architecture. They are structures built to span physical obstructions, such as valleys, roads, and bodies of water, for the purpose of providing passage over the obstacle. The design of each bridge varies, depending on its function and location. The first bridges were created unintentionally, simply as logs falling across streams. And as they say, monkey see, monkey do. Clever, eh? The first bridges constructed by humans were made of wood, logs and planks, and eventually stone, using simple support and crossbeam arrangements. And then came the arch. For the purpose of providing passage over the obstacle, the arch was developed by the Greeks in 13th century BC. The oldest existing arch bridge still intact today is the Mycenaean Archidiko Bridge in Greece. The weight of the construction is forced into supports at either end. This design was further developed by the Romans, who also figured out how to build aqueducts, bridges that transport water, boats and ships across gaps. The Aqueduct of Segovia in the Iberian Peninsula is one of the most significant and well-preserved examples left. By the 1500s, simple suspension bridges were first used by the Inca civilization throughout the Andes of South America. The last remaining Inca rope bridge is believed to be the Quechua Chaca, which spans the Apurimac River near Huinquiri, Peru. From grass rope to cast iron. The village of Ironbridge, Shropshire, England, located in the Ironbridge Gorge, takes its name from the first cast iron bridge to arch across the River Severn, named, you guessed it, the Iron Bridge. Iron did not have the tensile strength to support heavy loads. But when steel became widely available, much larger, much more durable bridges were built. More recently, within the past couple of hundred years, some amazing bridges have been constructed. In Italy, the Ponte Vecchio in Florence and the Rialto in Venice, or considered the Malau Viaduct in France, or the Golden Gate Bridge in San Francisco. The amazing Brooklyn Bridge was completed in 1883 and stood as the longest suspension bridge in the world for 20 years, followed by the Williamsburg Bridge at just 2 meters longer. Both were dwarfed by the 2,626 meter long Mackinac Bridge, which opened in 1957 and still holds the title of the longest bridge in the Western Hemisphere. The longest suspension bridge in the world is the Akashi Kaikyo Bridge in Japan, which opened in 1998. The Sydney Harbour Bridge is one of the city's proudest focal points, opened in 1932 and remains the world's widest long span bridge and the tallest steel arch bridge, measuring 134 metres from the top to water level. Some of my personal favourites include the Leonard P. Zakim Bunker Hill Memorial Bridge, one of the widest cable stayed bridges in the world, serving as the northern entrance to and exit from Boston. At night it becomes illuminated purple and is especially striking. The Rolling Bridge. Designed by Thomas Heatherwick, it was built in 2004 as part of the Grand Union Canal of Haddington Base in London. And it's really cute. Look how it curls up like a timid hedgehog. Telok Blanga Hill Park in Singapore. Home to a 36.5 metre high suspension bridge, offering amazing views of the forest floor below. The Iola Island Bridge in Graz, Austria. This bridge connects the banks of the river and includes a bar, coffee house and even an area for sunbathing in its shell-shaped central space. The Wayne and Wai Grand Bridge in China, the longest bridge in the world. This one opened in February of 2010 as part of the Jiangjiu Xiang High Speed Railway connecting Jiangjiu and Xiang and it's 79,732 meters long. But my favorite of all is the Falkirk Wheel. The only rotating bridge in the world, the Falkirk Wheel opened in 2002, acting as a single lock between the two main canals of Scotland. It has a capacity of 600 tonnes and rotates through 180 degrees in 5.5 minutes, using just 22.5 kilowatts of power, about the same as boiling 8 kettles of water. Albert Einstein said, Logic will get you from A to B, imagination will take you everywhere. In this case, don't be afraid to cross the bridge before you get there. Then too, others may follow.